Hello YouTube, thank you for tuning in to another video of mine on my channel. I said check out this these uh, some of these catalog scans on archive.org. That's the website that not only has a bunch of archives, you know, for books, public domain shit, but also they have the Wayback Machine where you can view archive websites, especially from the past and in the nineties. And I came across his catalog page or this catalog scan from the same website that I was did a couple I think I did one video on from a catalog scan from of a 1990 JC Penny Fall Winter catalog and so I figured I'd take a look through this one this is a Canadian scan from a Canadian series magazine or a catalog I think it's called the wish list some kind of for Christmas and I checked through their vacuum section to see what kind of you know see how what they had in that section. It seems like a pretty good bit compared to JC Penny, so I decided to take a look at it. And it seems like with Canada, with Canada, it's kind of very similar to what the United States has had. Pretty much the same machines, but except except in this case, the prices are in Canadian dollars instead of American dollars. But otherwise, it's very much the same thing. Like for example, this Rico Whirlwind that you see right here was being sold in. Canadian series stores for $269.99. It's almost $270. Which seems like quite a bit. I think it's might have been a little bit pricey back then, but I guess either it was pricey back then or maybe the vacuums, maybe Eureka's back then were a little bit more decent in quality than today's Eureka's. I mean, today's Eureka's are just absolute garbage. But that's a totally different video. Um, yeah, but the Eureka Whirlwind, if you've never seen one, it's basically it's based off the Victory uh, design. In which Victory looked very much like this, except to use the bag instead of this uh, Dirt Cup design. And the Whirlwind was basically their answer to Phantom back in the 1990s. In the UK... Uh, this vacuum was sold on, under the Electrolux brand name and it was called Cyclone Power instead of Whirlwind. But essentially the same thing, except that machine, except the Electrolux version was sold in the UK and I was competing against Dyson. And I, you know, it's a pretty safe bet that they had no chance against Dyson. <laughs> and I doubt the Whirlwind had much of a chance against against uh, Phantom. Even though it has a cyclone, you can see, like you see, right. Let's see if I can see if this pen works. Even though, like, it has a cyclone right here, that cyclone doesn't really work that well for some reason. Um, I've heard. What I heard from people who've used a, a Eureka Whirlwind or from vacuum cutters that used Eureka Whirlwinds, the Eureka Whirlwinds did not, the Cyclone Eureka Whirlwind did not work that well. Apparently, a lot of dust would end up being um, passed on to the pre motor filter, which sat right behind the cassette. It was connected, attached to the back of the, the, the dirt, the, the collection ca cassette. Excuse me, that's what Eureka called it. And so that filter on the back of the cassette would collect the dirt as it passed through, as it exited the dirt cup. Or cassette, whatever you want to call it. Go through that, goes then through the HEP filter. And of course, with these, da these damn things, you would have to replace the, the pre-motor filter every three months. Maybe three, six months. I'm leaning towards three months, so you probably have to replace it every year it's about four filters plus that filter replaced once or twice kind of adds up and so probably made people think bags are better or they just went and buy a phantom because they're thinking oh we just replaced that filter once every seven years or whatever it it'd be a much better deal but that's what they have i would like I would like to find a Eureka Whirlwind. That'd be kind of cool to find, especially one in good, if there's one in good condition. 
you know, I would not mind trying one out. I mean, I personally like the look of this one. I like the color scheme of it. I don't know, it just it just looks nice. It looks like a it looks like a nice vacuum. It looks you know something that, a lot better than what you would find in, a, in a, today's WalMarts. And here's the Recon Virovac. Victory Envirovac, excuse me. This is actually a perfect example of what I was talking about. When I said this looks like a victory, this is what I'm talking about. That's pretty much what it looks, what a victory upright looks like. In this case, this is the Victory Virovac, in which the only big, the big difference between this vac and the victory is that a standard victory upright, Eureka Victory upright, does not have a HEPA filter. The reason why this vacuum was called this particular victory model was called the Envirovac was because it had a true HEPA filter. And that's mainly the big difference. But very similar design, both have back safety handles. And that one was $199.99. Um, it might actually be a better deal compared to the Whirlwind, which was $269.99. You might think, oh, well, there's no bags to buy. Yes, but you also have to, but you have to buy the cassette filter, which is like buy that four times. We have to have replaced the filter four times, plus the HEP filter two times. Whereas with the Envirovac, you probably would just replace the bag when it gets full and maybe replace the filter once or twice. So that might be a good deal. For the same price, you could also get a Dirt Devil Swivel Glide. Or Ultra Swivel Glide, excuse me. They call it apparently, it's called an Ultra Swivel Glide. I wonder what the difference is between Ultra Swivel Glide and Regular Swivel Glide. Packaged with rechargeable hand vacuum. Ooh, so that's the big difference. Idaho System 16 feet extra reach. Oh, that could be why it's called Ultra Swivel Glide. Because that extra hose reach, I mean 16 feet. That's a lot of hose. That's actually a pretty decent amount of hose length. Um, to put it in practical context, my Chem More Upright, the Pet Friendly Progressive, which I did videos on in the past on YouTube, only has 10 feet of reach. And so 16 feet, almost 17 feet, you could clean a flight of stairs with, with that. Um, let me see here. Kaido hose system, power editor with severe cleaning, 12 amps. Motor guard system that helps protect, eliminate, helps to eliminate fa fan and motor damage. In other words, it's a clean air design. They make it sound like it's an exclusive feature. It's not, it's a motor bypass. Like this Eureka, look what it's, it says clean air design with built in motor fan protection. Well, of course, it's built in motor fan protection, it's a clean air design. Everything goes through the hose and gets into the bag, it goes through the bag before it in the air, it goes through the bag before it reaches the fan. None of the dirt's gonna touch the fan. In fact, the only way the dirt could touch the fan is if somebody fucked up and put either didn't put a bag in. Or they put a bag in, but the bag tore, and they didn't pay attention to it. That's the only way that could happen. There's a Hoover Upright. Turbo Power. That's, I think that's like you see in department stores, higher-end department stores, maybe some Hoover dealerships. Um, it's an elite design. I'm not sure exactly... What the cleaning effectiveness pramp is. Let me look here. I think it says 17. And that's that was $179.99. And back then that was in 1998. But back then Hoover elites were really freaking popular. Extremely popular. Here's some of the Kenmore lineup. Um these are easily Panasonic designs. Pretty sure to Panasonic's. Not too bad of a price for for their uprights. And you got your canisters. I love the old powerhead designs of these can the power mates. 
his other design I've, I've seen is you know like you know always looked at flyers when I was a kid whether it be Sears or whatever get you know seeing those kinds of powerhead designs I don't like that oh, that's a generic looking canister Premier 2 canister, so that's a canister with a straight second one. It's kind of interesting, a straight, a full size canister with just a straight suction nozzle. If I wanted a full size canister, I'd be getting something with a power head. Why? Because I want a power head for carpets. Not some rinky dink straight suction head. That ain't gonna do shit. <laughs> And here's the next page. Ooh, the Steam Back Ultra. Three se Holy freaking crap. $379.99. That's Canadian dollars they were selling that damn thing for. Can you imagine how much? Can you imagine that price? $379.99. It's, it's crazy. I mean, mine, I think the one, the shampoo we have that my roommate and I bought. I just did a video of it tonight, earlier tonight. That was a power scrub, and it's a power scrub, and I, we paid 50 bucks for it, and I think it, brand new, I think it's 129 something, maybe 130 bucks. This machine was sold for $379.99. What does it have to... Ooh, auto tool conversion. Turbine tire powered hand tool. Barefoot clearing, police clearing, okay. So I can see why they're charging that we're charging wanted that much. <laughs> because that one has all the bells and whistles on it. That is that that is not your standard Hoover steam vac. That is pretty much your top of the line steam vac. That's your pretty much your top of the line steam vac. If you had the extra money and you wanted to get something that was going to be that had all the features, and then I had no features. That's like if you were serious about cleaning your carpets. If you were serious, if you had one pay one too many times for a carpet cleaning professional, if you had you know, or you just went you know, we're getting sick and tired of renting a rug doctor and giving yourself a hernia car carrying the thing to the car and back. You're probably like, yeah, we we need our own machine. And you come across this, and you think, hmm, well, that's a little pricey, but probably, but we'll try it. And I'm sure there's probably people who loved it. The little bit of spot lifter. I don't think anybody, I don't think any of those things work anymore. <laughs> Includes four cell nickel cadmium battery, or an iCAD. Yeah, I can guarantee you they don't work. None of those work anymore. This one is really interesting. I think I've seen an infomercial for this once. It's called a Sanyo Transformax. That's what it's called, a Sanyo Transformax. I have not seen an infomercial for it anywhere. Well, I have not seen the infomercial in years. I haven't you know, come across it anywhere on YouTube. I would love to see the infomercial Again, because I'm pretty sure I've seen it, and I know it's not a fever dream because I, you know, because I remember seeing commercials for other machines like the Hoover self-propelled dirt finder, and I know I've seen that once, but I'm pretty sure I've seen this once. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine. This is pretty interesting. It claims you a stick back, hand back, and a canister back. It's pretty interesting. So this is like something like if you would have like if you just had like bare floors, if you just had bare floors, this would be perfect. And there's also something that we need, like, is you could have an art pipe for bare floors, a hand vac for your, your hard floor surfaces or your furniture, and a canister vac for, well, bare floors. And I keep saying for bare floors because it's a straight suction vacuum. And you're going to deep clean your carpets. Oh, yes, it can clean carpets. Yes, it can. But it's not a deep, not going to deep clean your carpets. It doesn't have a brush roll. But. Like I said, if you mostly have bare floors and maybe light area rugs or something like that, this thing would be perfect for you. 
because of straight suction, wouldn't harm, harm your bear force at all. It'd be perfect. Plus, you'd have a canister vacuum combination too. There's the can vac, the excuse me, not can vac, power pack. Well, it's a can vac with a power nozzle. Which is a cheap price, one forty nine ninety nine. That was a cheap price. There's the Hoover feet canister vacuum. Not sure what it is. It could be a turbo power. Cleaning effectiveness per amp rating of eleven. But I think, well, nine point eight amp motor. So it might get away with having that rating and being equal to an elite. And on to this section. Riga Boss Light 8, very popular stick back, very well known. Um, there's the Boss Hand Vacuum, which was Yuka's answer to the Dirt Devil Hand Vac, which they had sold for many, 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 many years, especially since the early 80s, and they were so damn popular, almost every other main brand was trying to mimic it. And they probably failed, but they, but they give it their best shot. And there's a Rico Cord, the quarter version of the Boss Light. There's the Broom Vac Extra, which is basically, well, quite literally, looks like a broom. It's a vacuum that looks like a broom. Dirt Devil Roommate, quite simply, great compact upright for. Dorm rooms, small rooms, stuff like that. There's the Hoover Sprint. That's actually a nice little, nice little stick vacuum. I think it has a hose. Yeah, a crevice tool and hose. It doesn't have a dusting brush or a pulsing tool or anything fancy like this. It just has a crevice tool and a hose. But great, again, for your quick pickups or if you have just bare floors, that would have been perfect. There's a cordless brush vacuum. What do they call it? Brush vac. Oh, they called it the brush vac. Actually, I have a, I had a hand vac called the brush vac. And then I guess they made a cordless upright called a brush vac. Interesting. And then there's the Dirt Devil Ultra hand vac. He's have one. It's, it's supposed to be like an improvement of the original hand vac. But I like the original handbag better. Anyway, I'm gonna see if there's any. I'm gonna check out the rest of the, any some of the other catalog scans for Sears Canada catalogs. And if there's anything interesting, I'll post a video on it and go through here. So hopefully you enjoy this these kinds of videos. I apologize if I ramble too on too much, but I figured I'd just share something that I really enjoy with you guys. Anyway. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon.